Hello everyone, Guitarius Krzysztof here and please welcome to episode 12 of 251 ways to voice a 251. Alright, in episode 12 we're going to continue by harmonizing the 6th of our 2 chord. In this case this would be the note B, which now we'll position on the 12th fret on our 2nd string. And we're going to start by this very cool voicing for a D minor 6. I'm spelling the voicing as an F followed by a C, followed by a D, and finishing with a B. Now, respectively, in our D minor harmony, F happens to be our flat third, C is our flat seventh, D is your root, and B is your sixth or thirteenth. So we create a D minor six or D minor thirteen sound. When I move to a G7 in this position, this is something I like doing. G7 sharp 5, this particular voicing is spelled as an F, followed by a D, followed by a D sharp or E flat, and then followed by our B. You hear it against the G bass note. So this happens to be a G7 sharp 5 or G7 flat 13 in this case. And again, one more time, this voicing is spelled as a F, which happens to be the flat 7th of G. D is our 5th, E flat is our flat 13 or flat 6 and B is our third. To contrast this G7, I'm gonna move to this particular G7. Now this happens to be a G7 flat 9 sharp 9. This voicing is spelled as a B flat, followed by a B natural, then followed by a G, and followed by an A flat. Again, in this particular case, the harmony of G7, B flat or A sharp is our sharp 9, B is your third, G is our root, and A flat is the flat 9. So we get a G7 sharp 9 flat 9 voicing. So our two dominant 7s are going to move between the G7 flat 13, G7 sharp 9 flat 9, and we're going to resolve to this very cool C major 7 sharp 11 voicing. If I put the root, Voicing. Now this particular C major 7 I'm spelling as an A, followed by a B, followed by an F sharp, and finishing on a G. Respectively, in our C major 7 harmony, A happens to be our 6th or 13th degree, B is our 7th, F sharp is your sharp 11, your Lydian note, and G is your 5th. So that becomes our resolution to our C major 7. If I play all the voicings very slow one more time, here's our first progression. D minor 6, moving to a G7 sharp 5 or flat 13, moving to a G7 sharp 9 flat 9, and resolving to a C major 7 sharp 11 with a 6. One more time slowly, we have D minor 6 to a G7 flat 13, G7 sharp 9 flat 9, and C major sharp 11, C major 7 sharp 11. If I play all these voicings in time, this is what we'll get. For option 2 of episode 12, I'm going to show you another way I like to harmonize the 6th or 13th of a 2 chord. In this case, we're going to start with this voicing. This is our new D minor. Now, this is spelled as an A, followed by an E, followed by an F, and finishing with a B. Now, respectively, in the D minor 7 harmony, A happens to be our 5th, E is our 9th, F is your flat 3rd, and B is your 6th or 13th. So we have a D minor 6 9 chord. Moving to a G7 in this position, I'm going to do so by just moving our lowest note A to an A flat. And this becomes our G7 13 flat 9. Now again, when I move the A to an A flat, that note changed but everything else stayed the same. So now we have A flat, followed by an E, followed by an F, and followed by a B. 
respectively in the G7 harmony. A flat happens to be the flat 9, E is your 6th or 13th, F is your flat 7th, and B is your 3rd. So we end up with a G7, 13th, flat 9 harmony. I'm going to contrast that with one more G7, and I'm going to use this very cool G7 sharp 11 voicing. This chord is going to be spelled as a B, followed by a D, followed by an F, and followed by a C sharp or D flat. Respectively, in the G7 harmony, B is our third, D is our fifth, F is our flat seventh, and the new note C sharp or D flat, it's your sharp 11 or flat five. So our two dominant seven chords are going to be moving between this particular note, which is the dominant seven 13 flat nine, moving to a dominant seven sharp 11. So if I connect the three chords so far we have, here's our D minor 6, G7, 13 flat 9, G7, sharp 11, and I'm going to resolve to this C major. Now in this position, the way I'm going to voice the C major, I'm starting on B, moving to a C, following that with a G, and then finishing on a D. One more time, I'm spelling the C major voicing as a B, C, G, and D. It's all in fifths, except the second interval you have on the very bottom. So now this becomes, in the C major harmony, 7. D is our 7th, major 7. C is our root, G is our 5th, and D is our ninth. So it's a C major 9. So if I play all three chords of option 2 very slowly, this is what we get. We get a D minor 13th, D minor 6th, with a 9th. A G7 flat 9, a G7 sharp 11, and finish with a C major 9 chord. One more time, I'm gonna start with a D minor 6, also with a 9th in it, moving to a G7 13 flat 9, resolving to a G7 sharp 11, and finishing with our C major 9. If I play all these voicings in time, this is what we'll hear. For our third and last option of episode 12, I'm going to harmonize the six in this new way. This happens to be purely a tertian voicing, it's a piano based voicing, it's spelled as a D, F, A, and then B. So we basically have the 1, 3, 5, and 6 of the minor chord. This is spelled as a D, F, A, and B, and again respectively the D minor 7 harmony, D happens to be our root, F is our flat third, A is our fifth, and B is our sixth. So it'll be my D minor. 6 chord. When I move to a G7, I'm simply going to move one note, the note A, which is the third string, is going to move down to an A flat, and it's going to create my G7 flat 9 voicing. Now again, this came from the D minor 6th, and the A, which is the 5th, is going to move one fret down, becoming an A flat, and now the voicing is going to be spelled D, F, A flat, and B, and that spells our G7 flat 9, D happens to be the fifth of G, F is our flat seventh, A flat is our flat nine, and B is our third of the G7 chord. And we're gonna contrast this with one more G7. Now this I'm voicing as a drop two for an F half diminished chord, starting on the flat five, or note B, or C flat and harmonically, but this functions as a G7 outer, and again this voicing is gonna be spelled B, F, a flat and E flat. Again, this is a basic F half diminished voicing, but in G7, if I put G on the bass, you can hear the alterations really come through because now B becomes our third, F is our flat seventh, A flat is our flat nine, and E flat or D sharp is our sharp five or flat 13, and we end up with a G7 flat nine flat 13 voicing. So I came from this G7 flat nine, going to a G7 flat 9 flat 13 
and I'm gonna resolve into a basic C major 9 voicing. I know, I know this gets too high in the position of the guitar and uh, definitely depending on your finger size might get a little bit tough to fit them all uh, in the small frets but this is the basic 1379 type voicing that a lot of uh, you guys are familiar with and this is spelled C, E, B and D in the C major harmony C is our root, E is our third, B is our seventh and D is our ninth so we have a C major 9 if I play all three chords very slowly, this is what we get for option three. D minor six, followed by a G7 flat nine, G7 flat nine, flat 13, and C major nine. One more time, we start with a D minor six. We move to a G7 flat nine, G7 flat nine, flat 13, and C major if I play those three options in time, this is what we'll hear. Now that we have covered all three options of this episode, let me go back one more time and go through all the voicings we covered slow. So option one started with this very basic D minor 6 is going to move to this G7 sharp 5 then it's going to move to a G7 sharp 9 flat 9 and it's going to resolve to a C major 7 sharp 11 with a 13. One more time we start with a very basic D minor 6 moving to a G7 flat 13 or sharp 5 G7 sharp 9 flat 9 and resolving to a C major 13 with a sharp 11. Option number two started with this D minor 6 9. It moved to a G7 flat 9 with a 13, a G7 sharp 11, and it resolved to a C major 9 voice. One more time, we started with this D minor 6 9, G7 13 flat 9, G7 sharp 11, and resolved to a C major 9. And our option number three started with this D minor six, moving to a G7 flat nine, G7 flat nine, flat 13, and C major nine. Option number three, one more time, D minor six, G7 flat nine, G7 flat 13, flat nine, and C major nine. And if I play all three options in time, this is what we'll hear. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I do look forward to seeing you all next week as we continue our explorations of the 251 ways to voice a 2-5-1 progression and we're gonna go next to the flat 7th of our 2 chord as our soprano note and see what options lay there.